Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video on IBM Security Reactor EDR. In this video, we are going to see how to install a reactor agent on Windows endpoint. So, reactor has a single agent on one endpoint for all of its functionalities. You must install the reactor agent on the endpoint to monitor endpoint, collect events, analyze behaviors, and enforce policies. Reactor agent for Windows supports various Windows client operating systems such as Windows 7, Service Pack 1, 8, 8.1, 10, 10 POS, and Windows Server Service Pack 2, 2012, 2016, 2019. Now I am going to show you how to download the reactor agent and install it on a Windows endpoint. Reactor agents can be downloaded from the reactor dashboard. Currently, I am on the login page of the reactor dashboard. Let me log in through my admin credentials. Once you are at the reactor dashboard home page, click the administration tab. Then click on update manager. You can see various installer packages listed on it. Please choose the required Windows package according to your operating system. In my case, I am choosing the Windows agent for 64 bit. A new agent distribution pane will be open. Click on the download installer tab. Then click on the download button to download the agent. Under the parameters, select appropriate groups to generate group IDs or GIDs and note down the GIDs which will be used while installing the agent. Now let's begin the agent installation. I have already copied the installer to my endpoint. Run the installer with elevated privilege. The installation wizard requires a set of parameters to continue. The instructions on it are pretty much self-explanatory. Please put the backend URL or IP address of your reactor dashboard and mention the correct port used for agent registration. If the mentioned port is wrong, the installation will give you errors. You can put the GIDs to tag your endpoint to certain tenants or groups. In an MSSP deployment, you must specify a GID when you install the reactor agent, otherwise the endpoint registration fails. After putting the GID, you can also put other parameters as shown in the instructions, such as if it is a VDI or a server, you can mention it, or if you have a proxy, you can mention the details as shown in the instructions. After putting the parameters, you can click Next. The installation is successful now. You can see the Creeper service is running. Now let's see if the agent got registered or not. You can see the endpoint is listed on the endpoints tab. The green color beside it shows it's online. Now let me show you how to troubleshoot the registration failed errors. It is one of the most common type of error faced while installing the agent. Here I am trying to install an agent without mentioning the port number. Here you can see the registration has failed. To diagnose this error, go to the temp folder on your endpoint and locate the log file starting with rqt underscore installer. Open the log file and look for the status code. Here the status code is 403 invalid CSRF token, which suggests that the registration address is invalid, which is true as we missed out on the port number. You can refer this IBM document for analysis of error codes. The link for this document has been copied in the video description. That's all for this video. Thank you.